Folks, tonight is Tuesday night, and that means volleyball action. There was a lot of volleyball games in the Crossroads area. Many schools getting district play. Those were trying to again start their district record. One of them was the Edna Cowgirls, one of those teams fresh off a loss to Industrial, but in Hallettsville this evening. So the Cowgirls, they were able to knock off Hallettsville in four sets. It was a phenomenal game from Shanti Coera, who led the team with 22 kills, adding 18 digs. And Julia Cooch led the team in digs with 22 of her own. And Bella Pl Platini has an unreal 43 assists, assists for the team for Hallettsville. And then Hannah Zachary had 20 digs again for both sides and on the way for kills. Now the Quero ladies also got win in four sets as well. Arissa Carbonara and Sarah Rodriguez tied for the team with nine kills apiece. And Carbonara now has 499 of those on the season right now. The Lady Gobblers are now 1-0 in district play. And they have a big time showdown this Friday at 430 when they welcome state ranked Goliath into town. It's going to be an early season statement. See if they can win that one going on Friday night. Now over to Victoria West. They started up district play as well versus Houston team and Richmond Randall tonight at home. And the Warriors, they won in three straight sets. They won 25-9, 25-9 again in the second set. And a little bit closer in the third set, 25-20. to Emily Parker had a great night, had 13 kills in total. And Kristen Kotek had a big day as well, had seven kills, three digs to help out the Lady Warriors as well. And West is now 26-4 for the season. They're going to play Victoria East. And we already saw in football the rivalry, so we see it in volleyball on Friday night. The tip-off will be at 6 p.m. So again, before football game starts off, try to watch that one there on the volleyball side. And speaking of football, Shiner, they battle Industria Cobras on Friday night. Both of these teams looking for their first win of the season. And for Shiner, they were knocked out of the second round of the playoffs last season. And they started, remember, they started 0-5 last season, and they made a run to the playoffs. So for Shiner, this is nothing new for them. They're hoping they can get their first win heading to Friday night. And Carson Schutte, their quarterback, is going to be a big factor if they want to be able to do that. And for Industrial, they're looking for the first win as well. They've had a lot of close calls this season. And again, they only lost by three to Edna in overtime in a controversial call that happened in overtime. And then you saw also they lost to Yoakum to three points. So they're hoping they can get back on the right track. And Ashton Garza, see if he can help propel the team to their first victory. And now again, we talked about the game, but let's check out you at home, the viewer poll. Who do we got here that's going to win up for the viewer poll? We saw it was industrial earlier, and it looks like it's going to stay the same. Industrial, 55% of the vote of you picked there for industrial, 45 for Shiner. Again, I think this one's going to go back and forth, Don and Sean. And again, only now three more days away to week four of high school football season. Is that within the margin of error? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, it's really close overall. Like I said, we've had a lot of viewer polls that were close either way. But I think, like I said, three.